Hello everyone and I'm back again for another vlog and you know that October is the seasons for Halloween and I'm so excited to show you guys what I will be dressing up this year and I have decided to be Valentina she's like a Pinoy version of Medusa I will be also recreating her human form look Regina Farguanja and I'm so excited to show you guys how I transform myself as Regina and Valentina I'm so excited to create this look because ever since I was a child I've always wanted to be Valentina I love the idea of having snake hairs on my head and that's why I've come up to this look because I always admire the Greek mythology um, Medusa and I've always wanted to portray her so without further ado let's start transforming as Regina and Valentina so first thing I'm going to do is to put foundation. Get the lightest foundation you have for Regina's flawless skin. And make sure to blend it well to have that flawless finish. After applying your foundation, put a small amount of concealer underneath your eye. Next is contouring my nose. I am using a contour stick to put a small amount of contour on my nose as well on my cheeks. I also put a small amount on my jawlines as well to have that V-shaped look. And also don't forget to put on the sides of your forehead. After applying the concealer and contours, make sure to blend it well. When you're blending, make sure that you Blend it gently so that it will have the perfect touch or a perfect finish to make it look more natural. So after with blending, we're going to set it with pressed powder. Next, we're going to proceed with the eyebrows. Regina's eyebrows are quite thick, so I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with some brow liner to make it look more thick. And make sure to blend it well to have that perfect finish. Next, we're going to proceed with the eyes. I'm using an orange eyeshadow and gently apply it all over your eyelids. And then put a cream eyeshadow on the middle part. Next, I'm putting this brown eyeshadow on the upper sides of my eyelids to give my eyes more depth. To make it look more visible, use a brown eyeliner. So this is the fun part, Regina's eyeliner. I have difficulties of putting this eyeliner because it needs to be applied in the inner corners of your eye and then wing it in the outer corners of your eyes. Next is we're going to set our face with powder contour. First, I am using the powder contour on my nose. So this is the key to have a pointed nose like Regina. Also apply a powder contour on your cheeks to give a more definition on your face. Also put some on your jawline to have that V-shaped look because Regina's face is so small. And also apply on the sides of your forehead. And then I am applying a black pencil eyeliner underneath my eye but only on the outer corners. And I'm using this peach blush to match it with my eyeshadow. And I am putting loose powders on some certain areas on my face to make my makeup look more clean. Now I am putting my false lashes on and I am using the dramatic ones to give my eyes a perfect cat eye look. Now we're going to brush off the loose powders that we applied earlier. Now it's time for the lips. We're going to put lip liner first to make our lips look more defined. 
After that, we're going to apply some lipstick. I am using this orange brown lipstick. So for the final touches, I'm applying a highlighter on the sides of my cheek so that I will have that glowing finish just like Regina's. Don't forget to put on the tip of your nose, on your forehead, and also some certain areas. And now we are done with Regina Varguanja's makeup look. So this is it everyone. This is how I look like with my Regina Varguanja look. So this is Valentina's human form. She's a very gorgeous lawyer and vlogger in the movie Darna. And I'm so happy with the result. I love it because it's so fierce. It's so contra vida look. And now, without further ado, let's now proceed to the Valentina look. So I really waited night time to proceed with this makeup look because, as you know, that Valentina always transformed during night time. So I always want to have that vibe which Valentina has that she's so very venomous during night time. So without further ado, let's transform into Valentina. So the first thing I'm going to do with this Valentina look is to change the shade of my foundation. I am using a brown contour to change the color of my skin. Now I'm going to use this net and put it on my face to create the snake scales. I'm going to use this dark green eyeshadow and just apply it on the holes of the net. Make sure to blend it well and give a definition on the fake scales. Also apply some fake scales on your jawline. Also apply on the upper sides of your nose. Now I'm using this black eyeshadow to top it up with the fake scales to make it look more darker and more scarier. Apply the dark eyeshadow on the green scales where you put earlier. Then blend it gently to make the scales look more natural. So this is how it looks like after removing the net. And now I'm just going to fill out the areas that needs to be retouched. So for the eyes, I'm just going to use this black eyeshadow that we used earlier and just put it on the entire parts of your eye. I'm just going to extend the eyeliner that we put earlier on our Regina look to make it look more defined and more fierce. Extend the inner and outer corners of the eyeliner. I am just going to use this black eyeliner to create more snake scales to give a more definition. Draw the fake scale on the entire forehead. Don't forget to apply the fake scales on the sides of your forehead as well. So I'm just going to use this black eyeshadow again for the nose line. So Valentina's nose are more pointed than Regina's. And I'm going to use this black eyeliner to have that um, fake scales on the sides of my nose. So for the highlighter, I'm just going to use this gold eyeshadow and apply it on my cheeks. So for the lips, I'm going to use this nude lipstick that is similar to my skin because Valentina's lips are very pale and I'm using a black pencil eyeliner to draw a vertical line on the middle part of my lips and a horizontal line on both sides of my lips. So this is my favorite part. Now I am applying my contact lenses. So this contact lenses is similar to a snake's eyes. 
and I really love this because it looks very scary and it's so creepy when I look myself in the mirror. So for Valentina's eyelashes, I'm just going to use the simple ones because I want my eyes to make it look more scarier because Regina's was very pretty and for Valentina, I wanted to make it look more creepy. So this is what my Valentina makeup looks like. So the missing part is the headpiece. I'll be right back to get it. But first, I'm applying my wig cap on to apply the headpiece. So this is the Valentina snake headpiece so i made it myself it really looks funny for now and it has two layers on it i really like it but it's not that perfect but i'm just trying my best and i'm just going to fix the snakes of my head first so this is it this is what my valentina makeup looks like hindi so this is it everyone this is how my valentina makeup looks like i hope that you enjoyed watching it i've always wanted to be valentina ever since i was young because she's so terrifying and she's so fierce i really don't like to be darna because darna is wearing a two-piece and i can't manage to wear a two-piece so this is it thank you so much for watching and i hope that you love my valentina makeup look i know it's not perfect but i love it and i did my best i enjoyed doing this vlog and i hope to see you in my next vlog thank you again so much for watching and happy halloween i hope that you enjoyed your halloween as well so until my next vlog bye bye